Welcome ladies and jelly spoons to Very Important Geeks where today we're going to be talking about the Prince Tactile Switch. And before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscription, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, so you know when I upload more nonsense. Now these print switches were sent over by the Prevail Key Company in exchange for my money. And big shout out to Shoes for the lovely sweet, sweet discount code. I'll drop a link in the description to where you can get these below. So let's talk a little bit about the Prince Switch. It is a five pin tactile switch by Joinin Keys using JWK's latest mold. It features an extra long gold plated spring that's 20 millimeters with a 69 gram bottom out force and 50 gram actuation force. Now it will come from the factory slightly lubed and it's supposed to have a holy panda type feel to it. The cheapest price I could find is from the Prevail Key Company at 60 cents per switch or $6 per 10 switches. As for build, it will have a PC top housing, nylon PA bottom housing, and a palm stem. Now how does the Prince tactile switch compare to something like the ubiquitous Cherry MX Browns? Well right off the bat, just looking at them, the Prince looks much better. That translucent blue housing with a black stem is beautiful looking. Now as far as feel, you'll notice that the Prince switch is a lot more tactile right off the bat than the Cherry MX Brown. With the MX Brown, there's a little bit of pre-travel, then a small rounded bump, and then you bottom out. With this one, there's almost no pre-travel, and you immediately hit that wall, you overcome a much larger tactile bump, and then you bottom out. Now I've actually got nothing against the Cherry MX Browns. I think they're, you know, they're good for what they are. They're probably people's first interaction with a mechanical tactile switch. You know, it's widely available. It often comes pre-configured on a lot of gaming keyboards. You know, it's unoffensive. It's it treads the line between a clicky switch and a linear switch as far as tactility goes. There's just enough of a bump to suggest that it's there, but if this were like a white claw, the print switch is like a nice wine. When it comes down to tolerances, I can already say that the Prince Switch has much tighter tolerances than the Cherry MX Browns. The stem is nice and tight, not a lot of travel, north, south, east, or west, and the housing doesn't have a lot of shift or give in it either, so already pretty nicely tight. So what I can do is test this against the Cherry MX Browns, which I have. I'll test this stock coming from the factory, and then I'm gonna lube this a little bit, and then we're gonna see how it performs and do a sound test. Final thoughts on the print switches. These are nice, snappy, satisfying, deep, thawky tactile switches. Definitely a huge step up from the MX Browns. If you can hear from the sound test, it's just, it's no comparison. Now from the factory, they're okay. There's still a little bit of scratch and spring ping, but if you wanna apply your own lube, just be careful to avoid the legs and that tactile bump on there if you wanna preserve the tactility. Just lube the sides and the back and definitely lube the spring to avoid that spring ping sound and they will do you just fine. And that about wraps it up for this video, but stay tuned because next week I'm bringing a whole new hot swaps. My hot swap videos tend to be pretty popular, so if you're super interested in that and you'd like to see more of that, go ahead and sign off in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, support me on Patreon if you can, and until next time, geek out. Mm -hmm.